Alright, fuckers and fuckettes, now, strangely enough, when you uh, do your brakes on these things, you ain't done when you got your brakes because you still got to put your wheel on. Look here, first thing you do, get your axle ready. Put you some grease on that sucker. And this gives you a chance, if you feel any dirt or anything on here, you stick that motherfucker in the parts washer, you clean the whole thing off as good as you can, and then you grease this motherfucker up. And when you grease it, you know, hey, you just need a thin coating on there, but uh, leave a little extra on there. I mean, just grease it up like you're getting your dick ready to poke your old lady in the ass. Hell, unless you don't like her, but... Uh, now, that's ready, take my little chain adjuster, right here, just kind of hang it there. Come around here, get that first bushing on, and just leave it hang there for a second. Get my other chain adjuster, and just leave it on top there like that for a second. Come over. Pick the wheel back up. And now I'm in this other bushing. Go like that. Bring my chain adjuster down. Hope y'all notice I ain't using nothing but my finger there. chain adjuster. Should be on the axle enough to hold. I need to fix up my first chain adjuster. And that's going to require a wrench. And that's going to be 12 and not 10. adjust this chain in a minute anyway. Normally I don't let that slide down, but today is one of them days when I just don't have enough weed in my system. So, my shit ain't working so good. all I use to drive that thing in there. It weighs about a pound, maybe a pound and a half. Okay. Now I come over and get that where it's at least half as straight.
Okay, so there's little marks right here. What you do is you set this one up where you like it. And for me, little bit less than an inch of play in my chain then I'm happy with it. I'm right on fifth one back I come over here and I put this one right on it is on the fifth one back I always line them to one of the lines. If I can't do that, then uh, I'm either changing the chain or figuring out why in the hell I can't do that. You got a washer. You got a nut. Need some cotter pin. Do not ever reuse your cotter pins. Always put in new ones. Um, I know it costs you 10 or 15 cents extra. Now before you tighten this though, come down here. Don't do your brake arm yet. Do that later. I might show you how to adjust your brakes, but I'd rather not have some goddamn Yankee suing me over that shit, so probably not. There's a stupid little arm right here. Bring that sucker up. Go right there. Put your bolt on. Or your washer, I'm sorry. Spin that sucker down. And that takes a 14 millimeter. I'll grab my fucking 12 again. There you go. Now you're not done with that one yet. Reach in your cotter pin collection. Pull you out a small one. Honda, Suzuki. They generally take a cotter pin right here. I'm going to go to the next fattest one up. That one just doesn't feel right to me. Stick your cotter pin through to where your nub end is up. I don't know why, that's just the way I was taught to do this shit. You know what, I should have stayed with that little dinky one. This next fattest size up ain't going through there, but this one, this one will. Bend both sides out, boom, done. Now, I'm going to put this one here. It looks like I have an inordinate number of extra pieces and parts with this son of a bitch. Yeah, you're right, because I've been going through about five bikes trying to find the right shit. Believe it or not, I have a little rod made just for these. 
Anyway, stick your screwdriver down from the bottom. Stick it through. Bring it to where you can just drop it. That's all you do. Now, come back over here with your big wrench. Putting any pressure on this. Because when I'm done, I want this shit to turn free. And I want it to be all bound because I put it all tight. I mean, I could still wiggle this. I want to bring it in until the swing arm catches properly. About all you want to tighten it. It uh, hit the swing arm tension, and that screwdriver. I can still turn it with my hands, so this shit ain't very tight, but it's snug. It's tight. In case you're wondering why on an axle you don't tighten that bitch all the way down, crank the hell out that motherfucker. Number one, you still want it to turn when you're done. Number two, the fucking cotter pin holds the rest of it. You know what? I'm going to replace that crown bolt with a taller one. But uh, anyway, at least y'all get the idea. I'll let y'all fuckers and fuckheads later.